Hi everybody, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi app. Today I'm going to show you how to access some of your content within Google Analytics once you've used our application called uh, Key Google Analytics, which is basically a bridge between um, eBay <coughs> I'm sorry, between eBay and Google Analytics so that you can record your um, page views within Google Analytics. One of the questions that I got from one of our users is that this is great, this is a great view. However, I'd like to know um, the number of visits that I got per items or per page title or information like that. So I'm going to try to show you a little bit within Google Analytics how to get that information. Now, I want you to keep in mind that um, our application, Key Google Analytics, is a bridge in between Google Analytics and, um, and eBay. Our application does not actually do the recording. We just pass it on to Google Analytics. So what I'm going to show you here is kind of on the edge of what we can support. However, it's good information and it's something that you should probably know and use to get some information on your data. So once you're in the main view of um, Google Analytics, you can go to the content area here and just simply click on overview. It will load, take a little minute, and will give you an overview of uh, your page view. And when you go down, you can see that page is selected here. You get the number of view per item. Now this right here just displays um, 10 item, but you can get more by simply going to, let's see, if we go to site content and all page, all pages, we get uh, here, we can choose and get more, uh, more data. This just displays the top 10, but you can get it. You can see that it's sorted by entrance apparently now in, in page view. And this would just show for all of your items. Now, this view is not really um, easy to understand what it is. So what you can do rather than doing that is go back to all page or to um, overview, I'm sorry, and click on page title here. And this will display the same kind of information with the page title. If we click here on view uh, full report, it will then give us the view where we can um, extend the number of um, things that we display. So um, this data helps. You could uh, write your own report if you know how to do that by creating a custom report and maybe just including, uh, let's see, ring. If I just include ring, it will give me all of the items that I have the word ring in the page title. And then I can see and sort, you know, and see which one is my top 10, for example, this one. Uh, if I would search for blue wig, for example, it returns nothing. Let's see. How about if I just search for wig? Does not return anything either. So let's go back with just ring. Um, to show you to show you the result and so you can see here directly what um, what is being displayed now um, I'm using somebody else account and that's why it's not showing you know my information here uh, and I'm trying to help them um, find their data but really you could use this for uh, for example, Lada, this other person uses um, stuff for Lada. So you can see with this Lada keyword which one is their top seller or which one is their top page view, I guess. We, we can't see um, sales. So I hope this will help some of you. Again, uh, once you're in the standard report right here, you go to the content here, the content tab and overview and there are some more things that you can do uh, content drill down for example we'll go to eBay item this can be more interesting you know to just see just per item without having the, the whole path into it 
uh, you could see exit pages uh, if you go back to overview you can use um, let's see search term maybe nope we don't have any search term uh, we have some events categories so if you want to see if a bid was sold uh, when an item was sold or received so if you click sold you would see that uh, this item sold one and you could rank you know your your top selling and get some more information here with using those events here let's go back to the overview of the events uh, we have a couple of uh, actions so when when a category would be eBay listing an action would be if a bid is received or an item is sold and then the label would be the item number so if you want to just get a report for example for this item number here you would click on it and it would get you the total number of events so there is there was two events now you don't know what those events are if they're um, listed or sold or, or what happened so you could probably add a second dimension that would be the event action which then would tell you that for this item there were one bid received and one sold so this item sold was just one bid pretty much is what it's telling you uh, if we go back to let's see overview label let's try to find another one that had this one had three events and we're going to add a second dimension that would be the action we can see that this one received two bids before it was sold and so this way you can get some information on your items and uh, and what happened to them um, if you know your item ID an easy way would be to just search for them but here we're just showing you how to use those uh, those those reports and those custom events as well as content drill down here in this tab so I hope this will help some of you uh, feel free to send us your question if you have any Oh, actually before I turn it off there's full report down here and uh, if I click on item on bid receive I would see just the item that received bids and how many bids they received so that's good to know so that's it thank you for listening hope you have a great day and send us your questions